today is uh, uh, January 25th, 2017. I have some videos pre-filmed, so you're not gonna be seeing this one until, what day, is it, what day is it today when you're watching this? Monday, I think it's Monday, the 29th or something like that. Today I'm gonna be going to work, so I'm gonna bring you with me. I'm not gonna do a normal work video where I just like, literally record me working. I'm gonna try to make it beneficial to you. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips that I've learned over the years just to make work more efficient. Sorry, I'm forgetting what I'm saying. To make work more, to make work more efficient for you. Um, if you're a closer at, as a barista or whatever, sometimes when you close, things can take quite a bit of time to do and it's kind of redundant because you have to do them every single day. But there's like some little tips and stuff that kind of help that go faster and little tips throughout the day that just help things go faster and be more efficient. So I'm gonna teach you some of those things today. I don't have them written down or anything, so I'm just gonna like record them as I go. This morning, it's been kind of relaxing. I set my alarm for 6 a.m., didn't get up. I had some breakfast and had some coffee, showered, and then I talked to Garrett on the phone a little bit, and I was gonna clean, well, I cleaned part of my room, but I was gonna clean more of it, and I just didn't get to that, so here we are. And now I'm going to grab some, oh, and I meant to prep some food to bring to work because at work when I'm hungry, uh, I don't eat good things. I eat like bagels and cream cheese and stuff like that. So the only thing I have in the fridge that I can take with me is sweet potatoes. So I'm just gonna pack a whole heck of a lot of sweet potatoes and bring those to work. But yeah, I need to go because I need to leave in like five minutes. So we'll see you at work. All right guys, so we are at work now. I'm just gonna be giving you seven tips of being a better barista, seven tips to be more efficient, just seven things that I have picked up and that I do every single day just to make it a lot easier and quicker and stuff just when I'm at work every day. So I'm not like teaching you what baristas do. That's not what this video is about. I'm trying to teach you maybe just different little tips and tricks that uh, make it easier that you might not be aware of. And also, it, <clears throat> it depends on where you work, if any of this applies and stuff or not. So um, it's actually like in the middle of my shift right now. I've already done all these things, so I'm just gonna be talking about them and over playing, um, I'll play the videos over my voice to what I'm talking about so you can see what I'm doing. But the first one, um, Okay, I lied. I just started looking through the list and I realized I only have six. So we're only gonna do six because I can't think of another one. I probably will later in the day, but right now I can't. So six tips to help you be more efficient. The first one is to get a cup of water. I'm always drinking water while I'm working and I think it really helps to keep you awake. I actually, since my shift is the closing shift, I work in the afternoon, don't really like to drink caffeine in the afternoon because it's not really good for you. So I always drink a cup of water actually like three cups of water. I try to drink three 24 ounce cups. I think it's really important to stay hydrated, especially when you're working, because I think it's easy to forget to drink water. And that's really important. And I think that it just kind of keeps you going. Um, water like energizes you. So that's the first tip. I'm always drinking water throughout my shifts. Okay, the second one is to check the stock of everything. So when I first get here, I always like to check to make sure I have enough of everything that I need for the majority of my shifts. I don't totally like stock all the little detailed things like sugars and straws and sleeves and all that little stuff until later in the shift because you're gonna have to redo it anyway if you do it really early but the reason I do that right when I get here is because the people who work before you they should set everything up for you but sometimes they miss something um, on accident it's not like they're doing it on purpose but I was checking in the video you can see that I was checking for hot water um, some people have a hot water spout so obviously you wouldn't have to do that but I am checked to make sure we have hot water for Americanos make sure that we have whipped cream ready, make sure that we have enough milk in the fridge, make sure that all of our pitchers are clean, just stuff like that so that when customers come and it's my shift, then I'm not like scrambling to get stuff ready. I just make sure that everything's ready for my shift, so that I have enough to get through the next five hours until I actually start to stock later in my shift. The third one is to organize the till. You don't have to do all of this stuff in the same order that I'm doing it. It's just the order that I did it today when I got here. I always face the bills the same way, which I've talked about in a video before. I like them all to face the same direction. So I always organize it that way. And then I group in the bills together because at the end of the night when you have to count the till, it's just redundant. Like you have to do it every single night, which is important, obviously. You wanna make sure the till is on, so you need to count carefully. But something that I do just to make it easier at the end of the night, is like if we have a lot of ones, I don't wanna sit there counting like hundreds of ones every night. So in the beginning of my shift, I'll get some rubber bands and I'll group them. So I group like, the everyone does it differently, so you can do it differently too. But um, this is just something I do. I don't leave them that way at the end of the night because I know the people 
that work tomorrow aren't gonna want them that way I just like them that way when I'm counting but I grouped the, the ones into bundles of $25 and I obviously like don't group all the money together because you still have to grab change for people so I leave like a little bit out so that I can actually use that money but the rest of it is already counted and grouped together and so the fives I group together in hundred dollar bundles tens I don't usually group together because there's not usually that many of them um, 20 sometimes I'll group together in $100 bundles. It just kind of depends on what's in the till. But that way at the end of the night, when I have to count, then I just like count the bundles. So I'll count like 25, 50, 75 instead of sitting there and counting every single $1 bill. So that's just one little tip that kind of saves money. I mean, that's one tip that saves a little bit of time at the end of the night. Number four is the Red Bull trick, which I've also talked about in a previous video. And I learned this from my friend Ashley. I don't know if she watches my videos, but shout out to you. I don't know who she learned it from. But like when you're pouring a Red Bull, um, some people don't even know what they are. Not everyone has these drinks, but if you make Red Bull Italian sodas, some people call them, or just flavored Red Bulls, um, basically it's just like some fruit flavor. Some people put vanilla, I guess, but fruit flavor with some Red Bull. Some people put orange juice and cream in there. That's the drink I'm talking about here. But the cans are just kind of a pain in the butt to sit there and let them pour when you're really busy. So I learned to crack open the top and leave the little metal piece I don't know what you would call that the little metal tab if you leave at like a 45 degree angle or whatever at a certain angle so that when you put it in the cup it sits on the rim of the cup and it'll pour itself so you don't have to sit there and wait for that to go so if I have multiple drinks being ordered at a time I'll start the Red Bull so that it can pour itself and I will work on a different drink so the Red Bull will continue to pour itself and as you can see in the video um, and then I'll work on another drink and then the Red Bull's done I just mix it up and then put in cream or orange juice or nothing if they don't want anything So that saves a little bit of time too So you're not sitting there holding the can or like trying to squeeze the Red Bull out of the can it's Number five, which is to let things soak. I don't think you really need to ever work that hard um, The place I work now is really good about keeping things clean We always kind of keep up with all the cleaning so nothing's ever like super dirty I don't think you ever need to like sweat over scrubbing something or cleaning something so I was just showing you how like we have to clean a crock pot every night which is not that big of a deal but if you try to just clean it right away like it's kind of hard to get the stuff out of it but like just stuff like that if you have something that's kind of tough to clean this seems like it should be common sense but I think some people don't think about it is to just let it soak and work on something else so I left it in hot water and in some soap for probably five to ten minutes while I was cleaning other things instead of sitting there wasting your time scrubbing something um, just let it soak in the hot water and soap and then go work on something else and come back to it and then it'll be super easy to clean after that it seems like common sense but I'm sure there's been someone out there that hasn't thought of that but number six the last one is to just simplify the things that you don't need because it could be different where you work but most uh, coffee places coffee stands coffee shops whatever um, are way busier in the morning than they are in the afternoon like we really slow down by the end of the day so in the morning they need you know like eight spoons they need like four little white chocolate powder mixer things they need four blenders they need like all this kind of stuff just because they are having like so many customers come in the morning but as you get slower in the afternoon i start to just simplify the things that i don't need for the rest of my shift because again at the end of the night it's going to be less to clean because i don't really need all that stuff we're not that busy now like you saw in the video i simplified all the spoons and stuff we had in the ice container where we keep all of the, our mixing spoons and i just brought it down to maybe one or two spoons that i need and same with the blenders i'm going to keep one blender out because it's winter right now we don't really go through a lot of blended drinks so one blender is going to be enough if it was summer i'd probably keep two out but i only need one out so i clean the rest of them um, so that's just little tips like that just to help you be more efficient hopefully you learn something it's not like a super long video but i just wanted to give you something that you could learn from maybe you learned something you didn't know probably the red bull is going to be the biggest thing that people didn't know about so thank you for watching and i hope you have a good day i gotta go finish the rest of my shift so i'll see you in the next video bye